Hello everyone, welcome to Wikipedia World. This is Miss Jazz and we're going to discuss today about animal tissues. Every house are need blocks. Without blocks, house cannot be made. The same as living organism. Without tissue, all living organisms are not existed. So a cellular organization between a single cell and a complete organism is controlled by the tissue. And also, they are the collection of similar cells with a specific function. A collection of tissues gives rise to an organ. And last, a tissue is a simple which may be single cell type or a complex cell type. We have four types of animal tissues. First, we have the epithelial tissue, as you can see in the image. Epithelial was lined body surfaces and cavities as well as form glands. Also, these are the combination of cell shape and the number of cell layer. The cells of tissue are closely connected to each other via cellular junctions. And last, we have the two distinct surfaces for epithelia. The first one, we have the apical surface, and this is exposed to the body cavity or exterior. The second distinct surface, we have the B-cell surface, and this is for adjacent to the underlying tissues. Epithelial has to contain no blood vessels and they are non-vascular and also depending upon the underlying connective tissue for nutrients we have the three shapes the first shapes we have the squamous or flattened as you can see in the image this is flattened that is squamous the second one we have the cuboidal from the word cube or Square, we have here a square shaped cell. And the third one, we have the columnar, or from the word column, this is a rectangular, a rectangle upright. So again, we have the three shapes we have the squamous, we have the cuboidal, and we have columnar. Epithelial tissue have two kinds. First, we have simple epithelial, and as you can see, this is the apical surface, and this is the basal surface. Simple epithelial has composed of only one layer tissue. The second one, we have the stratified epithelial. Stratified epithelial have two or more layered tissue. As you can see in the picture, it have one, two, three, four, five, five layered tissues. Epithelial tissue, therefore, is a tissue which combination of cell shape and the number of cell layers. So now the question is, how to name epithelial tissue? We can name epithelial tissue based on the shape of the cells at the apical surface. For example, we have the simple columnar epithelium world, which contains or consists of a single layer or column shaped cells. So we have the function of epithelial tissue was varies depending on also on its location. So epithelial tissue have four types. First one, we have the simple squamous epithelium. As you can see in the picture, simple again, one layer, squamous, flattened. These are comprises the inner lining of blood vessels where it provides a smooth surface that reduces friction as blood travels through the vessels. Also, this epithelium blood vessels slide shows a cross section of an artery and a vein. And last, this epithelium wavy lining of the vessel lumen, which is see in the interior. The second one, we have the simple cuboidal epithelium. Again, simple, one layer, cuboidal, cube-shaped. This epithelium 
are example of tubules of the kidney, which is composed of single layer alkaloidal cells. These are active in absorption and secretion of various substances from or into the kidney filtering, which will ultimately become urine. Also, this epithelium not the shape of the epithelial cells and the centrally located nuclei. The third is simple columnar epithelium. Again, simple, one-layered, shape, columnar epithelium. Simple columnar epithelium, for example of this, we have the intestinal lining, which is simple columnar epithelium. And the primary function of these cells is absorption of nutrients. As we can sum, examine with the slide, note the large oval-shaped nuclei that are positioned near the basal edge of the cells. Also, note the large clear goblet cells that are interspersed in the epithelial layer. These are glandular cells that secrete mucus that help protect the underlying tissues. Next is stratified squamous epithelium. Stratified have two or more layers, and we have the schemus, which is flat. This consists of multiple layers with schemus cells at apical surface, and the primary function of this type of epithelium is to protection. So we have the four types of animal cells. The second is connective tissue. Connective tissues vary widely in their form and function. It is characterized by the presence of extracellular matrix. When we say extracellular matrix, that is a non-living material composed of protein, fibers, and ground substances. When we see uh, protein fibers, that is composed of collagen, which gives strength, or elastin, which gives flexibility. This is connective tissue. Connective tissue, the number and type of fibers differs between the various types of connective tissue. The ground substance fills the spaces between the cell and the fibers. It consists in interstitial fluid, tissue fluid, and large polysaccharide molecules and the consistent of the ground substance can vary from liquid to gel like to a solid. Connective tissues have the dense connective tissue. This is the layer of skin that lies deep to the epidermis which called dermis and it composed of dense connective tissue. This tissue contains densely packed bundles of irregularly arranged collagen fibers and it is found in an areas of the body that are subject to tension from many different directions. Note that the thick layer of dense connective tissue that lies deep to the epithelium on the skin slide. And last, nuclei of the connective tissue cells are scattered throughout the collagen fiber. As you can see in the picture, this is the dense connective tissue and these are the other kinds of connective tissues we have the adipose areolar compact and blood the next type of animal cells is muscle cell tissues muscle tissue was specialized for contraction the cells are elongate and are also known as muscle fiber they contain the contractile proteins, actin and mycin, which interact to shorten and elongate the cells. As you can see in the picture, this is muscle tissue. Muscle tissue have three different types. The first type is skeletal. Skeletal attached to bones and contraction of these muscles generate body movements like for example lip movement, jaw movement, 
and breathing and so on. Also, the skeletal muscle fibers are long and cylindrical which multiple peripherally located nuclei. The cells have striations, alternating light and dark bands that result from the ordered arrangement of actin and mycin within the cells. This is skeletal muscles. Cylindrical shaped. Next is cardiac. Cardiac is present in the heart. Cells are striated, but the excretions are much less obvious than in skeletal muscle tissue. The cells are shortened than skeletal muscle fibers, have a single nucleus, and are of 10 branches. Individual cells are connected by a gulf junctions and desmosomes, and these cellular connections are visible under the microscope as dark bands called intercalated disc. These cellular communication junctions are necessary for the coordinate beating of the heart. So these are, are the example image of cardiac muscle. Last, we have the smooth for the muscle tissues kind. These are found in the walls of hollow organs such as Gar's intestinal tract, blood vessels, and the urinary bladder. Contractions of these muscles propel fluid or materials through the organs. And last, not strained, hence the name smooth muscle, they have a single nucleus and have tapered ends. This one, the smooth. Tapered ends. For the last types of animal tissue, we have the nervous tissue, and this is specialized for communication and composes the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. I can see in a picture this is the nervous tissue. Nervous tissues have two major cell types. The first one we have the neuron cells have the nucleate cell bodies communicate with each other via electrical and chemical signals. And these have two types of cellular processes. The first one we have the dendrites, which receive signals, and the second one we have the accents, which send signals. The second major cell type of nervous is the glial cells, which support cells of nervous tissue, and there are several different types of Various functions, including the maintaining proper ions concentrations in the fluid surrounding neurons, generating myelin and insulating material that surrounds some accents, and cleaning up the bits. As you can see in the picture, we have the neurons here, and we have the neurogenal cells. This is the glial cells. So, at the end of this video, we already know the four types of e tissue. We have the first connective tissue, epithelial, muscle, and the nervous tissues. We're already done in discussing uh, animal tissues. For the next video, you're going to see about plant tissue. So watch me again and listen to Interpedia World.